Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today I am going to talk about the Salon Spins, Salon Tech Spin Style Curling Iron. I love this curling iron. I actually have, hang on, the one inch, which I did a video on. There we go. Um, so I love this one. It's great for fast curls that hold with or without product. I don't know why. It has something to do with the ceramic. And it spins. So I didn't know, but there is a 3 8 and there's even a 1 and a 1 quarter. So there's three different sizes that you can get in these, which is amazing. Um, and so I got the 3 8 because I love tiny curls. And today I'm doing a curly style where I'm keeping my Betty Bangs, but I've had my hair cut just yesterday and that was a whole fiasco but I had special layers put in here so that my hair could wear curly or straight and so today I'm going to wear curly and I'm going to use the 3 8 to add in curls to heighten it and just kind of define the curl. Um, I use product, just a little of the Ion um, Silk Drops to, to kind of prep the hair as well as the Magic Mane Spray. I love this stuff. I think I just love it because of the scent of it. Um, but today I wanted to use this 3 quarter or 3 8 um, spin style Salon Tech curling iron which I'm in love with and it's just to pop and heighten the curls um, this is my natural curl right now it gets a little frizzy and just kind of flat in places so I wanted to use a curling iron to just pop some curls it's my to-go hairstyle when I'm really busy or getting up early and I can just mess it and wear it of course I always have my bangs straight and for my bangs I use a tiny where is it? I always use a tiny little Con Air hair. Um, oh, here it is. I'm back. I use one of these super tiny ones. So this takes me two seconds, and I do it in two layers. I have a video on that. If you're if you're struggling with bangs or Betty bangs, and if, even if you want to learn how to cut them, I cut my own bangs. It seems like every hairstylist I go to is scared to cut my bangs. I had found one in Vegas, and I was going to her religiously, and then she flaked out and I didn't show up for the appointment and the salon told me how they called her four times which I don't understand why they didn't just call me and tell me because when you're flying into another city it's like a waste of time so just bad customer service all around and um, I was super sweet about it and I just went to somebody else who was very good and nice but then I just decided not to go back but uh, today I uh, got I just got a new haircut yesterday so I wanted to see how it would hold with curl um, with my ethnicity and my type of hair, um, I was told that there's more hair here. But most hairstylists will give you all these layers down here, and then if I flatten my hair, you'll see all these thin pieces, which is not what I wanted. So I literally walked out of the hair salon yesterday. I was a hair salon in Tacoma, Washington, and I showed pictures. I brought pictures of the layer. I showed twice. I explained, and it still didn't get done. Now I have all these steps at the bottom of my hair, which I didn't want. Well, all I wanted was to work in here so that I could create curls and have a to-go hairstyle. And so I actually actually left the salon. I was very nice. I said, thank you much. You're very nice. Thank you for your help. And I left. I And then right at the end, I got upset. And if you're, if you're a female and you've had your hair down and it's been done wrong, and I spent all this time growing it out, and then they chopped it up, and they're not listening. And I even brought pictures. I don't know what more I can do. I've explained it. I've shown pictures. Not one, but four, how the wet layer actually looks, where it sits on the face and they still do it wrong. So I ended up going to another hair salon and finding this amazing girl. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. It's E-X-O-X-O. -X -O. She has an Instagram, which I'll put here. She's also a uh, alternative model. So I just kind of lucked out because I found somebody by fluke. So sometimes you have to trust the process and trust the universe. When things don't work out your way, don't get upset, flow with it. And that's what I kept thinking. I'm like, don't get upset. There's a reason I'm supposed to meet someone else and someone else is gonna do my hair and fix it. And I got in last minute on a Saturday and she fixed it. And she explained what I had always known deep down that I needed more layering in here without chopping it up, without shagging it out so much that I couldn't do Betty styles and vintage styles. So I finally found that perfect mix. And if you're struggling and you have the same hair as me and the same issues, then I would, uh, and you're in Tacoma, Washington, or in, she's actually in Renton at South Center Mall at Jean Jean Juarez, um, which I was also surprised I found someone that alternative and amazing there, but they have some really cool people. Um, and so it was all meant to be. And so anyway, I'll put her Instagram here. You can check out her modeling pictures and her hair. She changes up her hairstyles, which is really cool. She saved my head and I will be going back to her. But today we're gonna do 
this curling iron to just pop in some curls, a quick go-to hairstyle when I'm running around. And my hair is a little wet right now. I've put in some product, but basically this spins in two directions, okay? And it heats. Um, so it goes from 200, it has a spin dial, and then it goes up to 450. So I put it at about 350. Um, I didn't want to overheat my hair because my hair is a little damp, but I wanted to do this and do it quickly. So one thing is when I curl my hair when it's a little damp, it may get a little frizzy, so I'll go back afterwards and do a little pomade. When my hair is completely dry and I use this, I don't have to do that. So if you're like me and you're busy and you're doing a lot of different things, then this is just a great little trick. It's a little ion pomade. It smells amazing. Here, smell it. <laughs> and um, it goes on. It's a little sticky, so you have to wash your hands afterwards, but it smooths out all the frizzies. And as well, my silk drops from Ion, um, I love those. And I can get them at any Sally's um, when I'm traveling, which I love, because I, when I love a product, I stick with it. And so I want to know how it works instead of guessing. So that's also why I do these videos, to help you out and take the guesswork out. So let's start. So I'm going to grab a piece of hair. And I want more body on the top when I have curls. That's just what I'm doing for my hair. You may want them on the bottom. So I'm curling under, as you saw. You can curl in any direction. With this hairstyle, I'll curl in different directions to get a wilder kind of curled hair. As you can see, it's just spinning around. That's all you do. Leave it. It's not even a super tight curl. And then pull it out by just clicking the arrow in the opposite direction and you can see what an amazing curl I got. And like I said, I don't have a ton of product in my hair, so I love that and it's fast. So now I'm going to curl under and I'm going closer to the perimeter of my face. This is just my own style. Like I said, this works on longer short hair and you can see the curl. I can run my hands through it and make it more flowy. And then I'm going to grab a piece from the back and I'm going to go under. You can see it twirling. It's super easy, and your hair doesn't get tangled. You just I'm just pressing the arrows, and I can even curl it in more. Or you can just do your ends. Um, and for the purposes of this video, I'm holding it out a little bit higher so that you can see what I'm doing. And then I just uncurl and see how it... Now, if I wanted to do Betty Waves with the same curling iron, I would scrunch it and clip it so the heat would be molding it. But right now I just want a loose curl. I just want to fix the frizzy parts of my hair because I'm letting it go natural today. And my hair is half curly, half straight. So I'm going to curl this part under. And then let go. And you see how it's created all this body? just like that and I'm in the in the same time I'm just fixing all my curls and I can even grab a piece from the back because I like a little more height whoops okay let me do that again so I'm basically holding the hair out it's got little pegs sliding it in and just pressing the arrow and letting it grab it so you don't have to do too much your hands don't touch a hot curling iron at all then I leave it Hold it for a second or two, and that's all you need. This is like ceramic, I believe, so it does a really nice curl. You can see that. And today, like I said, long, loose curls, so I'm not stressing about if the curl holds forever. I just want to have some really cool beach waves and some ringlets, um, my own style. You can do whatever you want. I love it. And it's just a fast way to fix up naturally curly hair if that's your goal with this video, or just use a tool that is fast and easy. And I love the pattern or the size of this curling iron. Like I said, it comes in one inch, one and a quarter, and then this is a three eight. So it's this tinier one, but I like that for my type of curl because it matches my natural curl. And so when I'm just fixing up a curly hairstyle, I can just pop this in. This is going to be also amazing when I do my vintage hairstyles because I love a smaller curling iron for my vintage waves versus a bigger one. It's my own preference. And I'll do a video on that using this curling iron. And I'm just going underneath and getting some of these straight pieces. Uh, so for the vintage hair, I will use this, but I will mold the hair. So I'll wear a glove so I can grab the hair with my hand. And then I'll clip it with a two-prong clip. And then I'll leave it for about 5-10 minutes. And that sets the hair. So the hair holds its wave and I'll do a video on that. I've done other ones similar and you can see what you can see with this curling iron. You can grab a small piece or a large piece of hair 
and you're only holding it for a couple seconds like that and I've gone around and done the perimeter hair and I love that. So now I've got a hairstyle that I don't have to overstress about early in the morning or even worry about. And then whenever I want to, I can just pop in a curl if it's still too frizzy. You can leave the ends out or you can curl them all the way in. And you can see I've cut some smaller pieces um, and you can't tell until I lift them right in here in the perimeter because I need that lift to do this type of hairstyle and at the same time when I straighten the hair you can't see the layers so I can still do my straight looks my Betty waves but now I have body and if you have naturally curly hair and you want a hairstyle that's half and half this is like the perfect solution and once again I'll put the girl's name down below um, lifesaver and she really understood how to cut the hair she even talked about the my ethnicity and how the hair grows differently in the top of the head versus the lower part. And a lot of hairdressers will try and layer all this and then next thing you know, have all this weight here. Your hair hangs flat. Or if you have naturally curly hair, it just goes frizzy unless you use tons of product. And then you've got all these pieces. So now I have all these pieces which blend in, but I hate them because that's not what I had before. I had a long layer and all I wanted was to work in here so that I could get this lift so I could pop in some curls on a busy day. And I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are inspired by this curling iron. I think it's great. I've been using my one inch forever to do my Betty Waves, and now I can do a modern day and a vintage, so I'm excited about that. And it's got an on and off switch, the dial, and like I said, the arrows go in two directions. It will also, it looks like it's shutting off when it gets too hot, so that's pretty interesting. I keep hearing beeping. So I noticed that it's shut off, so I've put it on, it beeps, you see the red light? In one direction, other direction, super easy. Slide the hair in, let it grab it, don't overthink it, just pull the hair out if you have to. It twirls it in, right here, and then release it by letting go the opposite direction. Voila. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm really loving the comments and it really inspires me to create new hair videos, makeup videos, airbrush makeup, as well as I do photographies on the videos. I do videos on the photography and um, I have a magazine called Dirty Glamour Magazine which is all about inspiring people to dream and use glamour as a way of celebrating life inside and out. And you can get a free copy by getting on my website, youareajewel.com. Go to mags and you can watch the interactive version or you can click and if you sign up to my mailing list, you get free copies of the magazine, digital version, or just simply go into MagCloud and look for Baroness Lovey Deluxe. You can get a free digital copy with, without signing up for my mailing list. You can purchase a print copy if you love print for $7, which is an amazing deal. And um, join me again because I'll be doing more interactive uh, videos with the magazine, um, clips and stuff, and that's something I'm working towards. It's super exciting. And, but in the meantime, more gorgeous hair and makeup videos available on my channel. So subscribe, like, and click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. Um, I try to put out one video a week minimum, and sometimes I put out more. And you can find out also on my Facebook page, Baroness Lovey Deluxe. If you can keep track of all the videos there, you can see all my postings, you can see my tour dates, and much, much more. So once again, thanks for joining me. I hope you love this hairstyle, and have a great day. Bye, guys.